That was quite a depressing little video I made just now. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I've been watching The Drunken Peasants today And maybe yesterday, I don't know There are two days now and, uh, and, and In sequence And I don't know when I sleep And I don't know when I'm awake And I don't actually Really know what day it is today but I guess tomorrow will be Monday, so I suppose that today might as well be Sunday or else I have missed some essential information, some triggers, but I vaguely remember dozing slightly between Friday afternoon early evening and now and waking hours and sleeping dozing dizzying and ooh. Um. what well, mm -hmm. early last week I was watching Stephen Pinker and Stephen Fry talking about whatever. I don't I don't even know what their talk was about, but it was a quite a beautiful talk uh, between two very wise men. And I think there was the same Joan that was in the in the in the in the in the, in the dialogue between Stephen Fry and Christopher Hitchens. I, I I've got a food Yeah. Anyway. Stephen Pinker somewhere mentioned uh something about evolution or whatever. And uh, the, uh, the, the development of the human mind and the importance of linguistics, uh, language, in that process. Because, uh, sure, you know, without language we would still be apes. And um, we wouldn't be able to convey abstract things to the next generation, the things we've learned, the things other people have taught us there wouldn't be any teaching there wouldn't be any learning there wouldn't be any growth without language we would still be singularities and language is the first step towards becoming more than a lot of individuals going its own going their own way and but and and more like a collective collective yeah. but that sounds so fucking communist so that it's not the way I meant it it I, I mean more a religious kind of uh, melting of minds mind melt without them really taking over each other's bodies and autonomy but language of course 
makes it possible to communicate and communication is very important especially on the abstract level when processes take way longer than a single human's lifetime science would be nowhere without language anything any scientist would discover would be lost when the scientist would die if he wouldn't be able to communicate his findings to others and in a way that they could be falsified or whatever or elaborated upon and of course one of the one of the um, key players in communication is religion religion conveys a very simple message mythology conveys similar messages without being so very uh, dogmatic about them because mythology can always be expanded with new stories and a religion is a fixed set of stories and a fixed set of values when Plato wanted to express how love had come to earth he invented mythology around the nature of love it's not really scientific but it's not religious as either it's, it's the world has lost something when monotheism and the Bible came along and I'm not a Buddhist no 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 because I don't believe in uh, reincarnation and whatever uh, next next levels and I live in the now I live in the here this is it this is my life I've wasted parts of it and I've celebrated parts of it and I'm not dead yet and I'm not in, I don't intend to waste too much of what has been what's still there what's left for me and I'm going through a rough time now but that's that's how it should be it shouldn't be all whoa it's not not too terrible if things are not going the way you plan them it makes you creative you have to find new solutions new ways to face new challenges and <coughs> that's a bit of growing as well and once you stop growing you start deteriorating and that's why I'm so fucking happy with Wikipedia and YouTube my two favorite social media of course Wikipedia is not exactly a social medium but in a way it is it's pretty open uh, anyone can add anything and the mechanism is such that any changes will be reviewed by peers and the scientific way and discard it when totally inappropriate and okay when appropriate so it's growing it's a, it's, it's an organic thing it's it's growing it's a, it's a knowledge base and it's a place where you can find things and when Stephen and Stephen were talking about nature and nurture during the discourse on um, the development of the human mind uh, Mr. Fry mentioned added another term to the phrase uh, he said it's more like to, to him it was, was more like nature, nurture and Nietzsche and I thought Nietzsche 
Mr. Fry, you and Nietzsche, the Nazi. And later on in the, in the dialogue, he came back to Nietzsche and elaborated on some of Mr. Nietzsche's thoughts. And I was amazed. And after I finished watching the video, I went to Wikipedia and looked up what they had to say about Mr. Nietzsche in English first but of course English is not my native language and German is neither but I can read both and I switched from the English version to the German version and did I say from the English to the German? If not, that's what I meant. Uh, I opened LibriVox. I wanted to have all his books and because I'm not that rich as I used to be. I cannot buy or order books via Amazon, I cannot um, go to the bookstore and say oh, I'd like that book because there are no bookstores anymore. But on LibriVox, of course, Mr. Nietzsche's works are beyond copyright. His books are being read by people who can read and who can pronounce and the first book I downloaded was Der Antichrist and there was a book called Jenseits des Guten und des Bösen or so it was so ähnliches and of course also sprach Zarathustra, aber Zarathustra gab es nur auf Englisch. Den habe ich ruhig stehen lassen und äh, da gehe ich zu gutenberg.org und der hat auch Zarathustra auf Deutsch. Habe ich auch gedownloadet. Und den möchte ich jetzt gerne mal einige Sätze vorlesen. Aber ich habe das Buch oben und ich sitze jetzt unten und ich werde das jetzt nicht machen, aber in ein anderer Video, wenn es mir erlaubt wäre. Sei. Ah, er kan ik ook een keer in Duits oefenen, dat is ook wel goed. Dat is ook belangrijk. Er woont hier ook een meisje, die komt uit Duitsland, vrouw. God, die heeft al kinderen. Hele leuke kinderen, heel leuk jongetje. Die wil programmeur worden, mag hem. Het gaat iets niet helemaal goed met deze video. Irgendwas gaat ganz schief met deze video. Something's going utterly wrong with this video. Ah, I was talking in English. Now I remember. Fuck, man. Pretty strong beer. Four hm. percent. Five. Whatever. Um, I'm reading Nietzsche now, and I like what I read, and I think it's um, it's pretty sad the way he ended, and the way. Well, he ended uh, being utterly mad, unfortunately, totally misunderstood, no medication.
he was taken care of by his mother till she died and then his sister took care of him but she was a nationalist and she published edited versions of his writings and scholars noticed that there was something utterly wrong with her publications and they tried to salvage as much as possible from what he really actually wrote and I don't think there are any definitive versions but there are close versions by now and well if there is any influence on Nazism by Nietzsche then that's probably due to the sister and 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 the fulminations of Mr. Nietzsche against Christianity Christianity was in his eyes well no I'm not gonna say that I'm not gonna say that I'm I'll I'll I'll, 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 you, I'll make another video about Mr. Nietzsche himself but at least about the Antichrist, the book, it's a beautiful book, uh, and he's saying things that I think, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, most of the things he says, yes, I recognize and I under under un, underscribe, I acknowledge completely, totally, yeah. But the way he thinks about them, and the way he formulates them, in German. You could never ever do that in English. Never. English doesn't have a conjunctive and... Uh, well, English, English is a very poor language. It's, it's, a, it's a peasant's language. That's why it's so popular all over the world, because it's so fucking easy to learn basic English. Basic German is pretty easy as well, but... High English, high German is pretty tough. Well, but it's also very rewarding. So, Mr. Pinker and Mr. Fry have put me on the trail of Mr. Nietzsche and I had been reading Mr. Heine who I held in huge awe but when I started to read him I was delighted by the levity of his pro poetry it's so delicate and so gentle and so sweet well, Tolkien, who I've just read, has a great imag imagination, and he writes. He wrote a beautiful uh, story about the hobbits and uh, the underworld and whatever uh, battle of uh, the kings and. Uh, but his English is so crooked so it's 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 not beautiful no fucking way it is not beautiful at all but when mr nietzsche or mr goethe or mr schiller or mr heine or mr hildebrand when you read those giants of the german literature Then you know, then you realize why for some people books are simply enough company and I have plenty of books so I'm never ever alone. And with that positive note... Oh no! Have enough, have enough, have enough, can enough.
Ten minutes, ten minutes. Oh, Well, from those grunts, we have developed thousands of languages. I, 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 I think there are 6,000 languages on this planet currently. That's quite a lot. And the language is a means to bridge the gaps between generations and bridge the gaps between nations and bridge the gaps between people and the gaps will still be there they will always be there but the more bridges there are the more the thoughts flow between various times and uh, visions and things the more humans become like neurons and communication becomes synapses and humanity is turning into a giant brain and what WWW has done World Wide Web is connect those neurons so we are actually on the threshold of a new humanity, human, a new stage in the human kind, in the development of the human kind. And there is, there is something that has been plaguing me for a couple of months now. And that is the idea, the idea that maybe in Genesis, after the uh, creation bit, on the sixth day he created man to be God, created humankind, humanity, in his image, in God's image. <coughs> I want to, I want to not use uh, pronouns, human uh, uh, kind of pronouns for the divinity and suppose, suppose that there is only one line missing right after that on the seventh day God rested and saw that everything was okay. Humanity was created on the sixth day. Um, the days before the sixth day were geologically speaking millions, hundreds of millions, billions of years. And somehow people seem to think that the creation of Adam was all he did on day six and then God went to sleep for another billion of years maybe oh no but he was still there blah, 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 blah. suppose suppose that after the creation story there used to be a single line one single line stating that this what now follows is the story of the first hour of the sixth day something like that something like that because all the time everything that happens after the creation story 
God is still fucking working, 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 wiping them out and working, 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 talking to them and no rest at all. It's still the sixth day. And by the end of the book, they're still waiting for the messianic age. So there's no way the messianic age, when that happens, then the sixth day is gone. It's finally over. And it's Shabbat time. Supposing that only that one line, which may have been slightly different than what I stated, but uh, conceptually similar, has been dropped off, has dropped off somewhere in the oral tradition over thousands of years, 1500 years, whatever. Suppose that. I don't think it's a bad idea. And that's something that I'm working with. And that together with WWW. Um, I don't think that we're close to sunset. No, 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 no. I think we may be close to noon right now. Still a long, long way to go. Oh yes, there's still so much hatred on the internet and so much hatred on the fora and so much hatred on the comments and... Well, that's the way it goes. That's the immune system. There's a... There are similarities. I'm not... I, I don't have enough time... No, nah, two and a half minutes. To elaborate further on this. Um, in this video, but I will return if God or whatever uh, thinks it should be so then I may return to this topic but at least I've vented it and uh, I want it to be out in the world this idea and uh, have other people think about it. Uh, with my four subscribers I don't think there will be very many people thinking about it but on the other hand some may say oh, I'll link that to uh, I'll, I'll, I'll forward the link to that and that person and they might think that's oh, not bad and oh, whatever I don't know I don't care how how the seed takes uh, root uh, I only care that it does because there's so much in the old traditions that is valuable without having to discard everything. God is still there but not on a personal basis. It's far too far. It's, divinity is far too big to be concerned about what you do with your hands and uh, whatever. Uh, that's not of God's concern. It's bloody off. Whether you like a guy or a girl, it doesn't fucking matter. Or two or four or six. Whatever. Your, the color of your skin is all part of the God. The, 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 divinity, the divinity is extremely complex. And creating something in its image would have to mean creating something tremendously complex and our combined brain power seven billion people connected through the internet is awesome huh don't you think I do or am I mad could be but it feels good Bye. 17 seconds. 10 maybe no. Mm. I hope this is a good video. I hope you like it. Subscribe whatever.